everyone, and welcome back to Danganronpa! In the last episode, we were told that there's a 16th student in this school, and she was a mystery, and she's hidden somewhere. So, um, I guess we'll find out more about that in this episode. Mukuro Ikusaba. <gasps> what? Ikusaba Mukuro. Mukuro Ikusaba. The 16th student lying hidden somewhere in the school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. Kyoko told me to watch out for her. Mukuro Ikusaba. That was three days before the next incident. Three days before we would be faced with another murder. Wait, what? Huh? What? Three days before the worst thing so far would reveal itself. That's the guy that knocked you out. Huh? What? Oh, a hundred mile dash. Pain of a junk food junkie. It's Kyoko. Oh my gosh, things are getting really confusing now. In the meantime, the day after Sakura's class trial, that morning in the dining hall. I hope you guys are getting along. Hmm. So, let's begin the usual post-trial investigation. Hey, you didn't make small talk or anything! We never just get straight to the point like that! <laughs> If you want to keep up with me, you must refrain from pointless small talk. Jeez, uh, how high is that horse of yours? No, no. He just acts like that to hide his own insecurities. That's what I like to think anyway. I feel like that's a valid assumption. Regardless, if you want to defeat the mastermind, you need to follow my lead. They creep around the school like a mouse, but the mastermind's pride is as bloated as a cow's udder. What does that mean? <laughs> no matter what it takes, I will rid this world of them. Oh, Toko! Hey, Toko, you've been pretty quiet. Oh, not answering. Man, you're so boring now! You just sit there like a mushroom! Gotta start calling you Miss Mushroom! Oh, no. She didn't snap back at you. Her talking makes things difficult, so I told her not to open her mouth without permission. What? No! What? But if she can't open her mouth, she can't eat or drink water! I don't care. And you're okay with that, Togo? Man! Jeez, how low is that rock you're hiding under? I believe this is the small talk Byakuya warned us against. And yet I let myself get involved. But now it is finished. I will never allow you to drag me down to your level again. We're going to begin our search. Stop running your mouths and start moving your legs. Pressured by an obviously irritated Byakuya, we all started our exploration. Wow, okay. Oh yeah, more, more areas will be unlocked. Is that door finally unlocked? Nope. It's not unlocked. I guess this is the final destination for us. This gate seems remarkably sturdy. Why would someone go to all this trouble of blocking off this entire area? This is probably end game right there. And we're getting closer to the end. I think it's only this chapter and then chapter six. And then that's the ending. So we're making really good progress. Oh, I want to go spend my mono mono coins. Yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta get some more gifts. <laughs> Even though there's not that many people to give them to, but, um, maybe I can. <laughs> yes, I'd like to try my hand against the Mana Mana machine. Oh, we got 204 tokens. Okay, let's use four right off the bat. See what we get. Okay, I think we got that before. Ooh. Might get something lucky soon. Our repeat is 71%. Okay, we got that one a million times. Okay, again, again. Uh, I don't know if we got that one, but I feel like Hero will like that one. 
Let's see what this one is. I think we got that one before. Um. Oh, that just looks like a rock. <laughs> I don't think we got that one yet, so that's good. It's a new something. We got that one like a million times. I'm just gonna go to 190 because I really want to see what that new space is. Oh, I think Byakuya likes that ring because he's fancy fancy. It's either Byakuya or Celeste. Or both of them. I don't know. I think they both like those rings, maybe? Or maybe one likes a ring and one likes the other ring? The cat and dog comic! Oh, it's getting close to a lucky. It keeps shaking. <laughs> it keeps shaking. Oh, we got boxing gloves. Man, I really regret not getting Sakura a present. I really should have. I feel so bad. But the good thing about this game is that you can go through it again and you can give the people presents, you know? <laughs> I might do that on my own time, just to, just to see what they say. So, do we think there's going to be a fifth floor or do we think something is going to unlock on the fourth floor? I think... Was there a staircase on the fourth floor? I forget. If we have a fifth floor, it's going to make it <laughs> a bit tedious going up and down, but, um... That's fine. <laughs> Maybe we'll get to the roof. Maybe this'll be the roof! And then we'll be like, whoa, what's up here? And then we'll be like, oh my god, roof. Oh. Yep, it does appear to be unlocked. Yep, that is another staircase. Okay, so we do have a fifth floor. Whoa! So here I am on the fifth floor of Hope's Peak Academy. The fifth floor has been opened up to us. It looks nice! Reminds me of a spa. <laughs> and it's totally different from all the floors we've seen up till now. For some reason, it feels unpleasant. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I got completely different vibes. It feels like either a spa or just like a normal school corridor. Like the Japanese style school corridors, maybe? Oh, this is just a classroom. Okay. Hello? A violin! Oh, there's nobody in here. Nighttime secrets. No more! Stomp, stomp! He's so dirty. What? <laughs> It's been sealed up with sheets of metal. We've read that a million times. We know it's it's sealed with sheets of metal. There's camera. Monokuma, your artwork is very strange. I I don't know why you draw that, but okay. Okay, there's nothing in here. Yeah, leave the area. I'm just looking for mono mono coins at that point. This is 5B. Okay, let's look in here. Oh, nice walls. Haha, <laughs> catch me if you can. Wait up, I'm gonna punish you! Gross. <laughs> so this is Kyoko and that's Makito. <laughs> that's funny. Hi, Toko! Hi! I'm so sorry you can't speak. Huh? Does she want to talk to me about something? Toko, what's wrong? Oh no, maybe we can get you paper or you can write on the chalkboard. Is she trying to say something? She's trying to say something with her eyes. I think she's almost just a little more and I might get it. Oh, she's angry. I'm sorry, but I have no idea what it is you're trying to tell me. Oh, <laughs> she just let her shoulders drop. She looks so sad. I guess she gave up. Well, what if it was something important? At least she wanted to try to talk to you, Makoto. This is where the window should be. And this is where a window should be. And this is the camera. Oh, where's the mono mono coins? Where's the mono mono coins? Is there no mono mono coins in here? Toko, if it's something really important, don't, don't be afraid to uh, drop Byakuya's rule or whatever. You don't have to listen, Toko. <laughs> Even though I know you want to. <laughs> it's refreshing seeing some plants here, though. Some bamboo. Oh! Hi, Hina! How are you doing? 
This floor feels different compared to all the others. I'm not sure what it is. Is there some reason for that? I hope it's not anything too creepy. Hopefully not. What's this? What's this? 5C. Okay, this is another classroom. Okay. Whoa! What the hell? What the hell is this? The grotesque horror of the room struck me hard and fast. I thought this was just gonna be a normal classroom! <laughs> what I saw was bad enough, but what I smelled... It was sour, pungent, impossibly rank! It smells awful, doesn't it? it it's... It must be at least vaguely familiar to you. After all, you've been around your fair share of corpses. Are you saying... <laughs> it's the smell of death. Their flesh and fat and blood. There was no surprise in his voice. No shock. But he was right. I had experienced this smell more than once before. It was the smell of death and despair. Looks like dried blood though, doesn't it? Looks kinda dull. But the smell here is strong. Condensed. It's the smell of a battlefield. Monokuma must have... What? My fault again? Stop trying to blame everything on me! If you hadn't done what you did, this never would have happened. No, 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 it's quite the opposite. The opposite? Yep, let me give you an itty bitty, eegy squeegee little hint. As far as this room goes, I don't know a thing. I just left it exactly how I found it. What? How's that for a hint? Better than those stupid hints you get from NPCs and those mean old RPGs! But it's pretty scary, huh? Blood all over the walls and junk. Of course, even in the outside world, people die bloody gruesome deaths every day! So it's not really a big deal! Just keep your chin up and keep living on, soldier! What's he talking about? He just left it the way he found it? What's the meaning of all this? Oh, I'm not sure what I should say or not because I have... I have knowledge, I'm not sure... I can't remember exactly if that was confirmed or not, so... I'm keeping my mouth shut! <laughs> no matter when, no matter how... It's your valence camera. It's your valence camera. I'm surprised there's not... Oh, okay, okay, we can look down here. There are white chalk outlines drawn all over the floor. How many bodies were there? I've seen this kind of thing on detective shows and stuff like that. You always see it at the scene of the murder. I wish I could say I don't believe it. Hmm. There's blood all over the place. I want to shut my eyes forever against such a ghastly sight. It appears all the blood stains are dry. Okay, so they are old. And their color has changed as well. I think it's safe to assume these stains are considerably old. This is all... really blood? <laughs> of course. I wouldn't find it interesting otherwise. And it is interesting, I assure you. What on earth happened in this classroom? Seems like he's enjoying himself. No way can I keep up with someone like that. Man, Byakuya. He just loves a good mystery, I guess. Um, Byakuya, about what Monokuma told us. It's like I'm not even here. He must be lost in thought. Is he really thinking that hard? Or is he just flat out ignoring me? Maybe a little bit both. <laughs> he's probably just ignoring you, but he's also, like, prioritizing his thinking, you know? He's gotta think. He's gotta solve the mystery in his head. Oh, this is a long hallway. What is this about? Can I look at the ceiling? No. Ra. Ra, bio. Bio? Rattle, rattle. It's locked. We came all this way just to be denied here. The sign in the hall says bio lab. Bio lab that we're forbidden from seeing into? It kind of sounds like something out of an old cheesy horror movie. Huh. Maybe it'll be unlocked later. 
maybe I should check the fourth floor too because there's probably something that's been unlocked down there. What's this? Whoa. Why does that just look like a big opening to... What? Okay, okay, that's floor. Okay, I thought that led to nothing. I was like, what the hell is this? Oh, wow. Hi, hero. Is this a chicken coop? It's like the Animal Crossing bug part. <laughs> What's a chicken coop doing in here? It's for your chickens. Oh, look, there's chickens. This place even has chickens, huh? They're just regular chickens, right? Like, they don't eat people or lay bombs instead of eggs or something crazy like that? It seems safe. Hey, you got a food supply now! You can- you can get your eggs! It's a chicken! It's really alive, right? There's no mistake. Oh, I can look at every chicken! Okay, let's look at every chicken. There's a chicken! Oops, it's a chicken! Uh... How about this one? It's a chicken. It really is, right? Like, I can say that for sure? It's a chicken. Oh, it's not expecting what? It's not expecting to be fed like humans, is it? Makoto! It's a chicken! It's not gonna, like, lay a bomb, is it? Oh my gosh, step away from the chicken coop! Makoto, you're so paranoid! Oh, you like chickens too, Makoto? Yeah, I love these little guys. They're seriously cute, right? And there's exactly five of them here. Exactly? Five. You know, the number that comes after four and before six, at least in terms of natural numbers. Anyway, whenever the number five pops up, that's a good omen. It contains the mysteries of the cosmos. It's a number of power, a refreshing number on par with hand-squeezed all-natural lemonade. He never lets me get a word in edgewise. He loves his numbers. <laughs> he loves his numbers. Was this a shed? Just to be sure, I, I should take a look in that tool shed. Oh, wow. This place seems totally disorganized. From a lawnmower to fertilizer, flower pots to farm tools. And leaning against the back wall, is that a pickaxe? Okay, let's look at the lawnmower. There's a lawnmower here. Even with this here, who's actually going to take care of the lawn? It's probably fake grass. I mean, I don't think you guys have real sunlight coming in, right? So it's probably all fake stuff. What's this? There are different kinds of gardening tools here. Are they trying to get us to become self-sufficient? Maybe it is real then. Real, real light and stuff. I didn't mean to try to back out. I wanted to see what I could look at. Huh? There's something carved into the handle of this pickaxe. Crazy diamond. Wasn't that Mondo's group? Crazy diamond? I feel like I remember seeing that somewhere. Wasn't that Mondo? Mondo's group and Mondo's jacket? Bags of fertilizer are, are piled up. There are so many different kinds to choose from. Wow. Okay, what else can we look at? We can look at the flower pots. The most innocent thing here. So many flower pots. Big ones, little ones, any size you might need. Maybe I'll grow some flowers to put in my room. Hey, that'd be nice. That's a nice activity. Leave the tool shed. Okay, that's a big plant by the way. I didn't notice the sheer size of this thing. Holy heck Whoa, wh What is this? The thing is super weird super creepy flowers aren't supposed to get this big Is this thing real? Watch out What? That's a monokuma flower. I came up with the name myself. Try and touch it and you're in for some real excitement! Your heart's all like, whoa! And the plants all like, snap! And your flesh is all like, I'm dead! In other words, it's a monstrosity. It's pretty freaking amazing if I do say so myself. A student that helps speak add improvement after improvement and create this miracle creature. 
the ultimate botanist. Although they don't go here anymore, they died during the tragedy. By the way, despite how it looks, that flower is super practical. It can eat paper, plastic, even people. So it's totally good for the environment. Such an eco-friendly creation is vital for the future growth of a healthy society. Not that I know anything about that myself. <laughs> Sp spouting more and more nonsense, Monokuma eventually disappeared. Whatever it is, I better keep my distance. Maybe it's a nice flower. It's got some Venus fly traps next to it. Maybe there's some very large flies. No matter when, no matter where, surveillance cameras are following our every move. I mean, they're absolutely everywhere. How many cameras does this place have anyway? Man, the electricity bill must be skyrocketing. <laughs> Man. Oh, we got one more thing to look at. This. There's some kind of control panel set near the wall. Does it control the air conditioning or something? It's for the sprinklers! Sprinklers? Yeah! It controls the sprinklers in the garden! The sprinklers are set off to go off every morning at 7.30! Don't you dare change it without permission! Of course, the settings panel is locked so you couldn't change it if you wanted to! So that means the sprinklers go off at 7.30 a.m. every morning? Yep, you got it! It's super user-friendly, which sucks! So if you get out here too early, you'll get drenched, so watch yourself! But you're not a little kid, right? You're too old to be going running around through sprinklers anyway! Or do you have some kind of water fetish? I'm gonna tell everyone! <laughs> oh my gosh! Monokuma! I don't think I've seen everything there is to see. You haven't? That screen? You want to see the screen? This is one of the monitors Monokuma appears on. It seems pretty useless when he's not on it. Actually, no. It's totally useless no matter what. Hmm. Is that everything? I don't think I've seen everything. Really? We still haven't seen... Huh. What's this? Those nozzles poking out. Oh, that's the sprinklers. Are those the sprinklers? Yeah! Okay, we got a mono monocon. Is that everything? I don't think I've seen everything there is to see. There's a lot of things to see. What did I miss? Should I talk to Hero? Ooh. At first I thought I saw blue skies, but turns out they just painted the walls and the ceiling. Daddy. Oh, but the plants are real. It's been a while since I've smelled vegetation. It helps me relax. Okay, so the sky isn't real, but the plants are. That's not what you're thinking, is it? Huh? Why? Is that bad? Mm. Don't you get it? Don't you realize the true horror of plant life? It's there, just beneath the surface, beneath their calm exterior. They're always watching and waiting. And when they decide they can't leave us in charge of Earth anymore, They'll put their plan for global human extinction into action! I'm serious. <laughs> okay, hero. <laughs> sure, buddy. Sure. Okay. <laughs> hero, you're a little bit paranoid. What's this? Is this like... Uh, I can't look at the sign. Is it like a dojo? It is like a dojo! <gasps> Sakura will love this. Oh man, or it could have been a bit of mockery for her that she wouldn't have liked. Well, I'm gonna end this episode here, and then the next episode we'll check out this area and all the other areas, hopefully. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to, you can like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want, and I'll see you in the next episode of Danganronpa tomorrow. Bye-bye!